Hello friends, good evening and welcome to another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with Varun Rao. In today's session, we would be looking at how to create an XML view, right? So the aim of today's session would be to look at how to create a custom SAP UI5 screen using XML design paradigm, right? And we would also be looking at how to create views based on HTML and JavaScript in the upcoming videos. We would also look at how to enable a button and how to give life to a button using JavaScript, which is what the MVC architecture actually follows. So let us now quickly go into the output and see what is the objective of today's development, right? So it would be to develop a screen like this, right here we have the heading and then we have a toolbar here i have a username and a password this username can take in anything and password here whatever you enter this is how it would go and here we have a hyperlink with the name of the user and a forgot password and this is another forgot password hyperlink so you can use either which ways right so now let us go into eclipse and see how do we create this kind of an output so the first thing that I'm going to do is to create a new project and this project would be an XML project and an SAP UI5 application. So I select SAP UI5 application and I give the name of my project as XML view which is an SAP M libraries and here I also check the create initial view. I would first change the uh, development paradigm to xml and here i give the name of my view as page zero right and i now click on finish so here i have things ready to go so the first thing that i would be doing is to change the title of my page this would be xml view right and then i would also go into the index.html and add the name of my title here right and this would be title and here i would say my application so now i have entered a title as my application and the view page title as xml view right now we'll see what is the difference between both of these titles here so now i would want to start designing the toolbar so in order to start designing the toolbar the first thing i would be doing is to start taking a toolbar right so instead of taking a toolbar i would be using a tool header right now this is a tnt tool header all right and now I'm closing this. So uh, now if you're able to see, we have an error here. This is because the system or the code here does not understand what this TNT stands for. So let us quickly define what this TNT is. It is XML NS TNT. And this has to be defined here, SAP.TNT. So now we have the error gone. So now I would be defining or declaring whatever are the design parameters that I would be requiring inside a tool header. So the first thing that I would be requiring is a button, right? So I quickly start with a button. And in this button, the, uh, the first thing I need is an icon. So what is the kind of icon that I want? I would be defining here. So the icon that I want is an SAP icon and the variety or the type that I want it to be is of menu 2 right and this is of type transparent because that's how it is as per the output right see here this is a transparent button so it has to be in the color or it has to be in ingrained in the color of the tool header so here I mentioned the type as transparent so now I copy this button and I take a toolbar spacer. Now this is required to make ensure that there is equal gapping in between every output or in between every element that we are taking inside a tool header. All right. 
now I have taken this so the next thing that I would be taking is a text so I would now be declaring what is the text that I want now this text would be in between so here I would be entering this as login page this would be the text that I'm entering alright now once I am done with the text I would be closing this here right so I'm done with the text now and finally what I would be doing I would be taking another toolbar spacer after this and I would add one final element to ensure that the toolbar header is done with and it would be another button right but this time here this button would not have an icon but it would rather have a text here so what I'm doing is I'm just copying this and replacing the icon with text okay now when we are doing this I would write this as welcome user alright so now let's run and see what happens here so I would be just running this in the local system with the web app preview right now once this is done we would be having an output now this would take a moment's time so in the meanwhile let's just go and understand this screen so this is the first title that we were talking of which we have mentioned in the HTML page which is the XML demo login and this is the other header or the other title that we were talking of which we were which we have mentioned in the XML page in the page title right and the credentials check that you are able to see here this has been replaced and we would just be looking at what it has been replaced with so now I am quickly going back into my Eclipse, copying the output and coming back into the browser. So here it is my application, I have my login page here. So we have replaced the credential check with the login page, right? So here's the code and welcome user which is a button is on the corner most or, or is in the right hand corner so now that we are done with the header the next objective is to move on and move on into a v box now v box is a vertical box right and this vertical box is now to be designed so this vertical box is nothing but this central area that you are able to see here from please enter your username and password to forgot pa password right so now we are about to design this part so let's go into this so the first thing that i would be doing is using the right aggregations so that we are not ending up with an error so inside the vertical box i have taken items so now inside items I would now be taking the list of elements that I require so the first thing first that is a label and in the label I would be entering the text which is what do we enter we take the text as use your credentials right and then I close this label all right now this label has been closed after which I would be taking the first input box right so here goes the first input box and I would now be defining the kind of parameters that I'm looking for the input box so I would first be using the placeholder the placeholder ensures that you are able to understand what it is so I would be taking the username in the placeholder and then I would be taking one of another input for your password right so now this input has to be defined and here I take another placeholder and define this as well and this would be password 
right now once this is also done i would be closing this but when you're typing a password you want or you do not want it to show what you're typing right so hence we take this as a type password so it will automatically understand that whatever you want to enter should not be displayed right so now let us quickly go into the output and refresh the page so here it is we have use your credentials username and password but there is a very big difference between how this is and how this is right so now let us look at what we are doing wrong but still we have another button missing so let us now add another button to this to ensure that we are done with the vbox and we look into the alignment so now i am taking another button quickly with some width the width would be 12 right so i would use 12 as the width after the width i would be using what is the kind of text that has to be displayed so the text that i would be using is login because that is what you have once you have entered your id and password you have your login and i want this button to look you know blue in color or to look active so that is the reason why i would be using the type as emphasized right so now i have also given the type and now i am closing the button and this is also done with so now let us again refresh the output and check if we have a button right so now i have a button also now the most important part is to align this part and to bring it into the center so now what i would be doing is i would be going into the vbox because my vbox has all the items required so i would first be justifying the content right and here in justify i would be using center right so now let us see if there's any change right the next thing that i would be adding after this is align items so let us see if after adding this we have a change right so now i have added align items right so now we have this bot onto the center right so now this is looking much better all right but now even now the other thing that we have to do is bring this to the center of the page it is sticking to the toolbar header so now what we do is we have to align the content to the center right so now i would be adding the align content to center again and see if we have a change now right but it is not happening it is still out there so now we need to look at something else so what i would be doing is i would be taking or considering this as a container and i would be using a fit container as true and now see for any kind of changes right so now i have this exactly and perfectly aligned the way i want and now this is looking a bit beautiful the final thing that i would want to take is a footer right so where does footer come the footer would come after the v box right so here i would be decorating my page with a footer right now this footer is supposed to be enclosed within a bar so here goes a bar right now inside a bar i would be taking different contents or different elements so the first thing would be to the left so i would take content left in the beginning only to ensure that there is no confusion 
and here what I would be taking is I would be taking a text and the text would be hi user right and I close this one and if there's anything else I would be copying this and taking another content which is content right in the same bar so let us do that as well so here I would be changing this to content right now this is done and we have taken a content right so here I would just change this to user 1 so that we just understand how is it working and if it is working perfectly fine or not now I'm going to just refresh the page and right here we have the footer as well and you see that this has moved up a bit and now both of them are looking exactly the same right so here you enter your username and here you can enter your password right so now we have successfully designed the page so i hope you have enjoyed the session and learned how to do this so this is the way how we do it so i just want you to remember that whenever you're coding always use the perfect aggregations ensure that you're coding them in such a way that whenever you take a look back at them you understand what is happening and you are in total synchronization with your code right and i think that is the best way to use take it slowly take it step by step and there is no other easier way to define or to design a code such as xml so i really hope you have found this session useful and and, and enjoyed this so thanks a lot for watching this do share and subscribe if you have finding if you are finding this or found this useful thanks a lot have a great day